now at how the two sides line up, beginning with the Barnet team. Just one change for Paul Fairclough's men, the interim coach here at the Bees. It is a home debut for 19-year-old Eamon Azaz in place of the injured Scott Loach between the sticks, of course, an agonising dislocated elbow away at Bromley last weekend. And, of course, we wish him a speedy recovery. It's a back four for the Bees. Former spy right Jerome Binham Williams on the left. Then is Kefalas, who has come in for Liam Daly, is partnered in defence by Ben Richards Everton, and is Lee Vaughan at right back. The four in front of him: Mohamedou Fall, skipper Harry Taylor, Alexander McQueen, and Efron Mason Clark. And the front two of Courtney Baker Richardson and the danger man for the bees, the man in form, Michael Petrasso on the bench. 16-year-old goalkeeper James Callan. So a welcome return to the bench for Matt Preston, Xander McBurney, and Donis Vasilou and Richard Taylor as you watch at home please do get involved with the conversation using the hashtag live from the hive Barnet retaining possession but it's immediately dispossessed is the skipper Harry Taylor and this is an immediate chance and they could score straight away here Chesterfield is a golden opportunity wasted by Adi Youssef who had so much time and Barnet a real lead off there for the bees yeah Harry Taylor caught in possession in the middle of the park Aaron and they get forward quickly do do the spy rights and when the ball went through to Yusuf I was expecting the net to ripple but fires wide that's a it's a guilt edge chance in the first what 30 seconds for Chesterfield will be a corner quick in swing up players loading the six yard box in it comes and it's right down the throat and it's headed against the crossbar by Baker Richardson there very close to being an own goal. A very effective corner kick routine there from Chesterfield. Ball comes in and Azaz is Good goal out keeping. quickly to claim. It's now back with Fraser Kurt. Fraser Kurt clips it across. Joined very recently from Torquay. Played here at the Hive back in January for the goals. Here's Asante dropping deep, looking for an option in all blue. Finds it in Tom Whelan. Skip away and another chance here, and it's almost rolled into the bottom corner. The chances keep on coming for Chesterfield, and they keep on squandering them, Adam. They should be one ahead, Aaron. Simple as that. It's, it's another great opportunity for the spy rights. They work the ball nicely. Again, what nice one-touch football, and the space opens up for the Chesterfield man, and Again, he, sh he should do better. But over the bees. Here's Eamon Azaz. Here is Asante. Heads it forward towards Clark. He's got Whelan on the overlap. Chance here. And this time, the Spyrites punish the bees, and it's Tom Whelan who opens the scoring here after just 10 minutes, and it's a lead that our visitors do deserve. Richly deserved, Aaron. They're, they're cutting through Barnet at will and there's been way too many chances given up in this first 10 minutes and good finish from Whelan as there's no chance. Absolutely, the 24-year-old with his third goal of the season since joining in December 2020 from Weymouth. Former Yeovil and Chipnam Town man made no mistake as he was played through there excellently. A penny for Paul Fairclough Sports as he just brings out his notebook in the dugout. Efron Mason Clark, clever footwork and then unleashes a shot. It's not too far wide. Kind of spontaneous efforts that we haven't seen Barnet take too many of this season. Take another look at it. Lovely footwork, Aaron, to get away from his man. And you always felt he was going to pull the trigger. Goalkeeper watched it go wide, but... It's nice to see a bit of positive play from the Bees. Asante now. Chesterfield patient with their build-up, just looking for any opportunity to get the ball in. And it's just over the bar from Carline, but... Foul anyway. Yeah, there is a foul in the build-up. Looks like a push in the back on the Barnet man. It's a cracking ball into the box, Aaron. Absolute dream cross. 
and albeit you can see the little, little push on the back but that was a, a glorious chance for Chesterfield and what a ball into the area Chesterfield playing very patiently Aaron patiently but consistently tr on the front foot trying to, to unpick the Barnet defence which they have done a few times so far played short to Vaughan no one picks him up and now delivers a cross into the middle it is a good delivery they can't get it into the box and it is hooked away. Bin and Williams, though, will look to recycle it. Here's Lee Vaughan. Clips it, looking for the run of Mohamed Fowl. He might just slip in here. and does. He looks to play it back in, but Grant Smith was aware. But another corner for the Bees. Good from Fowl. He, uh, he carried on. He could have given up on it and wins his side another corner. Low corner from McQueen is in towards Baker Richardson, but cleared away before it could reach the Barrow Loney. Mason Clark up and over the wall. Good effort from Mason Clark. It, it's always difficult. It was always rising, never really threatened the goalkeeper. But as we just said, it, it's been Barnett's best spell of the match and they'll hope to try and build on that after Chesterfield's fast start which rightfully saw them take the lead. And the control by Baker Richardson is set away Michael Petrasa here and here is a real chance for the Bees. The Canadian does have options opts to play it to Mohamedy Fowl brings it under control looks to get a shot away his effort is deflected and then saved by Grant Smith. Good breakaway from the Bees who really should have done more with that. Yeah it was a, it was a good opening for Paul Fairclough's men it looked like Fowl was going to cut in and try and bend it to that far corner, but he just took a little bit too long and a bit of decent defending from, from the Chesterfield man and, and yeah, didn't come to nothing. As you said, they should have probably done better, Barnet. Up by Asante, looks to get a shot away. It is deflected, but it goes wide. Alvarez's his goal. And that will be Trasso, but it's headed away before it can reach the Canadian. Here's Clark to Asante. Brought down on the edge of the box, and it will be a free kick in a promising position for the Spyrites. Winning lays it off for Asante, drives it low, and he spilled it as young as A's, and it's a simple finish for Adi Youssef. A tough one to take for the 19 year old, immediately consoled by his skipper, Harry Taylor. That's a frustrating one and a hard one for the B's team to take so early into the second half. Zayes puts it on a plate for Adi Youssef. And it's 2-0 to Chesterfield. Yeah, a, a real shame for the young goalkeeper. The free kick was, was struck with a bit of venom, but obviously Zayes will, will, would have wanted to do much better with it. Um, spills it out and it's a tapping. Tapping for Youssef. It's low through the wall. Can't quite bring it under control. As he would have liked. Fence. Harry Taylor cross in. And it almost falls for Michael Petrasso with a little flick back from Mohamedou Fall. Pretty in pink this afternoon, Grant Smith. Vibrant goalkeeping shirt, as you would expect. Goalkeepers do often get stitched up with all those bright colours. Here's Carline. Fraser Kerr, being urged to keep it, but has managed to bring it forward with some simplicity there. And now it's Adi Yusuf, scorer of the second goal, to the scorer of the first goal, Tom Whelan. Here's Clark. Asante now. And you don't want to give too much space in that position. Goes down by Kefalas, and now it's all the way back to Fraser Kurt. He's got a little bit lucky there with that touch as he kind of played it against his own leg and just bobbled away from Mohamed Ufal. Here's Adi Youssef. That's a set through Asante. Gets past one. Gets a shot away. Hits the inside of the post, and it's into the grateful gloves of Eamon Azaz there. How he was allowed to get a shot away, I do not know. It should be 3-0. Too easy, Aaron, for him to wriggle 
through there. There was two players in attendance and he somehow managed to take it past both of them and is mighty unlucky not to score because it would have been a great finish. Mason Clark skips away well from Hollis and now drives in towards the box. Ephraim Mason Clark looking to find a way back into the game and gets a shot away. And wins a corner for the Bees. Good from Ephraim Mason Clark. That's what the Barnet fans want to see him doing, getting at his at players, getting at the, the men who are trying to mark him. And he skipped past two there with, with ease and his shot deflects wide. Trusso will take this corner kick. As Chesterfield look to kill this game off for certain. Here's Tyson. Brought it into the box, gets a shot away. As A's are down low to claim. Right, congested area. Barnett need to find a little bit of space. They have it in Antonis Vasilou over on his right-hand side. A few step overs. Now look to get this cross in. Sends his man one way. Crosses it in the other. And it's going to be an overhead kick from Ephraim Mason Clark. That would have been spectacular. But it's just over the bar. But it's Barnett's best opportunity of this match, Adam. And it's come in the 89th minute. Yeah. It was good play by Antonis Vasiliou. A good ball into the area to find Mason Clark. It would have been a fantastic goal, but you can see the confidence that Vasiliu has, and it was a good effort from Mason Clark, but over the crossbar. And as you say, that is the B's best opportunity, and it's come way too late. It's a little bit of spark that Vasiliu offers. He hasn't really had much of a sniff this game. Obviously, he came on hoping to be a bit of an impact, and then that second Chesterfield goal kind of killed the game off altogether. Just brings the play back. Richards Everton looking for the run of Richard Taylor. Richards Everton having a real battle there now in the midfield. And clips Tyson. Curtis Weston not very happy with that. And is that a red? It's a red card. Ben Richards Everton has been sent off. And we thought disciplinary issues were a thing of the past. Well, Ben Richards Everton just lost his head a little bit there. And the Bees will play what is left of this match with 10 men. A little kick out there on Nathan Tyson. Curtis Weston quickly into the ear of the referee, but I think his mind was already made up. Side who've been resurgent under James Rowe. And it is James Rowe's side that take all three points here. They've controlled this one from minute one to minute 90. 